So this is an AP Studio 2. Uh, what the customer is complaining is that whenever they close the door, they're getting random motors to start spinning and turning. So we're going to get into this and see exactly what is the problem. Um, see the door is not closed properly. All right, and here's our interlock switch over here for this, so we can know that this is going to hold this down. All right, so we got that spiral's turning. All right, that other one's turning there. All right, it's saying 131. So you can click down here. See, 131 right here is not in its home position. Um, so we had some spirals turn when we hit the home switch. Let me go ahead and open the door up all the way. So we had some spirals that when you hit the home switch, they didn't, um, they're trying to home. Now I can see that this one here is not in the home position because it spirals out of place, either that or the, it's not put on properly, the spiral. So um, next thing we do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit that interlock switch again, just like it's the door. And um, let's have a look and see what happens. All right, so there's 100's turning. One fourteen. And then this time one fifty two is turning. All right, so we had a bunch of motors just go go home. So it looks like we've got some homing issues. So I'm going to try that again. I just released the uh, interlock switch. So again, every time you close that switch, the board goes out and has a look at all the motors. So I'm going to do that again. This will be the third time and see if the same set of motors are rotating. So I'll go ahead and press down that service mode switch. All right, so here I got 104, now 106. All right, now 150. Okay, so we've got, so we don't have any consistency on this. So we had 104 turn last time. Oh, this is back in its own position. So again, hold down the door, hold down the home switch and see what happens. All right, now we got 110 turning. Now 112, now 116, now 124. All right, now we got 154 and 156. All right, so we definitely got a home switch error or something on the board <clears throat> or something that could be interfering with the board. Um, so. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to release this, I'm gonna kill the power, and I'm gonna to to kill all the peripherals. So what I like to do is whenever um, I get something like this, let's go ahead and take any of the peripherals off of the machine. What I mean by that is let's get rid of the dollar bill acceptor, let's get rid of the coin changer, as well as the credit card reader. So let's go ahead and get rid of that, so which all, all that plugs in here. It's got the, when they wired this up, they wired everything going here, so they're plugging the credit card directly into the control board. There's their MDB plug for this. So I'm going to turn that off, turn the power back on, let everything boot up. I'm going to check what the board reads. The front free here, so it's automatic product, GPL CMS, credit, have a nice day. Okay, so now what happens when we press the interlock switch? Do we get the same thing? Now that we can remove the peripherals, do we get the exact same thing? So again, hold down the door switch, let it go through. Okay, so I'm getting hooked. There's 102 again. All right, so we know it's not the peripherals. There's 120 turning. 122. Okay. So I am getting a bunch of random problems on this machine. So with that, it may be a control board. So what I like to do here is I will now go and slightly pull out every single tray and just leave one connected and then see if the problem happens on that tray on a repeated process. And this is kind of, let's be quickly rule out if it's actually in the control board over here or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the uh, tripod and we'll see, let it go from there.
So I went through several different options here. I went so far as removing the light bulb out of the machine. I've unplugged several harnesses to track down why we're getting that, that weird homing situation on the machine. Um, now I did track it down to, um, actually track it down to the DEX harness here. Um, if I were to unplug the DEX harness, I'm gonna turn the power on. So what is happening? is as a review if i press this home but this interlock switch here uh, the board will go out and it was naturally the board will want to what we call scan for the motors it needs to know what motors are available for it to vent from so what happens the board goes out and sends a pulse signal to each of the motors and if it feels if it notices there's resistance at the motor then it knows that, that motor is there and it assigns it that this is a motor that's a valid place to vent from so what happens when we close the door, this happens every time the door is closed. So when I do it right now, I've got the DEX harness plugged in. If I do it right now, you can physically see the board pulsing. The motors actually turn as it's scanning them. It's not the case. What it should actually happen is they should not turn or you shouldn't see them move at all unless they're not in their home position. So I'm going to go ahead and um, press the button in so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now you're going to see it. Boom, 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 boom. You see? It starts turning slightly, starts turning slightly, boom, boom. That one's turning. And as it goes through, it looks at all the motors. See, it's slowly turning them. Um, boom, see all that. Now, found that it being, if I unplug the DEX cable from this, you won't see the pulsing of the motors. You, you know, it's going to home some of these motors that are no longer in the home position, but you won't see it pulse as it goes across and scans all the motors. It's turning that one, bringing it back to the home position, but you don't see it pulsing. All right. So what I found was weird is, okay, well, this is simply a TRS jack. It's a tip ring sleeve jack, quarter inch. Um, audio might use it for a send and return socket you would find in a mixer or something like that if you, if you know anything about audio equipment. But simple TRS jack. There's no power to this. Um, so when I unplug it, it's got a problem. So I was like, well, that could that possibly in, be in the control board. So what it is, I went ahead and grabbed another DEX cable. Now, now this DEX cable, and I'll go ahead and plug this in. All right, so I just got the DEX cable, just plugged it in right into the board. I'm gonna go ahead and just press this. Nothing. I can hear the motor scanning. We don't have a problem with this, with this connected. It's like, okay, well, it's gotta be a bad cable, but why would it be a cable? So I went through and ohmed out this cable and it was fine. All the contact points were working. Um, so I was like, wait a second. Let's see how this is mounted. It's actually mounted to this chassis here. So I said, well, let me do this. Let me replicate something like that. So it's mounted to metal and this is attached to metal here. So I went ahead and I just put this up here. Now I've got this metal touching metal here. And then if I hold down the door switch magically, issue comes back. All right, now if I don't attach it, and just let it hang, I'll just hold it right here, do this again. Now the only motors are gonna turn are the ones that need to home back. And that home motor wasn't home, but again, you don't see the pulsing of the motors. So this board here is not grounded properly. Um, or, the way, or the way the DEX is, it doesn't like the way this is grounded. We've got ground here. Um, on that, you know, we can actually run, I can run this ground up here. So I'm actually gonna try to do that. I'm gonna see if I can move this ground up, but this is actually, this is factory. The way that should be is I can move that ground up here. Um, but I really think, you know, with the DEX harness on this machine, we can just let the DEX sit down here, tape it up and, and be fine. Um, so let me go ahead and just uh, look, look over that. And I'm going to uh, kill the power here. I'm gonna reintroduce the uh, MDB back into the machine. And I'm gonna connect the decks here. Turn the power back on, and I'll let's see what happens. Now that it's booting up, cracker reader's gonna boot up here in a second. Now I'm pressing hold the door switch. And I can hear it going through the motors. And nothing. Alright? But as soon as I add this onto metal for ground, we got an issue. So, 
There's little tricks, little things like that that can really mess up the machine. And this was uh, something a couple of other um, mechanics. Uh, and, and everything looks like it, it, it's its point because you, you ohm out this or you, you know, do a continuity test and it's fine. It's, and there's no bad wires on it. It's actually just how it's grounded. Uh, so you can go inside and just try to find a better ground for that to work. So um, I believe that's going to be the case. So what I am going to do, um, let's see if we get this fixed. <laughs>